Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylee. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. I post all about military now. I posted my basic military training experience and how to prepare for basic. And as you saw from the title, this is going to be an updated what to pack for basic military training as what I brought, I brought too much of or too little of or stuff that I should have brought but didn't and now I'm kind of wishing I brought it because now I'm that I'm in tech school, now I have to wait for it to come. And let's just get started in the video. Disclaimer, anything I say is my opinion and not those of the Air Force. Good, good, okay. Keep in mind, whatever you bring, you will be carrying it with you when you head to tech school and your first base. If I'm looking down, I have my notebook with all my notes, so that's why I'm looking down. I don't want to miss anything for you guys. I want to give you guys the best advice and tips that I can so you can be successful on your military journey if you're watching this before you're joining or whatever your case may be. For my instance, there are definitely things I wish I didn't bring and things I wish I did bring, but also now that I know, like I have a lot of, like a lot of stuff and like my bedding, for example, I got to figure out how I'm going to take that with me to my first base because I ain't the type of person to waste stuff like we can donate it here but I'm like nah I bought it I'm gonna I'm gonna take it with me plus I need a new one of these sheets blankets anyway so I'm gonna take that with me I think what I'm gonna do is pack everything up that doesn't fit in my bags and ship it to my mom and then when I get there Take it with me to my first base. I'm getting off track. So the essentials, and this is mainly for females because I don't know how it works exactly for males. So I'm sorry, males, you can do your best to guess. Anyway, seven to 10 bras and seven to 10 underwear. They say at least five to seven pairs, but no. I would say definitely bring more than that because you are going to be sweating, especially if you go during the summertime. Wintertime, I'm not sure it is coming up on the winter, so I wouldn't maybe worry about bringing that much. But if you are going in the summertime, for sure a thousand percent bring way more than what the list says because you, you're going to want to take a shower and change that shit out every day if not twice a day so with that being said also buy a two-in-one or three-in-one soap that will save you money and it will give you more space i wish i would have done this from the get-go i didn't even think about it they give you the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner but honestly if you can buy your own two-in-one make sure you can bring it, make sure it's authorized. Also, they do, when you go to the BX, my flight slash team, what dorm, we were able to go like that first Sunday. Or wait, no, not that like first Sunday. Honestly, I don't remember. Yeah, that next Sunday. So it was like right before 4th of July, we were able to go. Anyway you can buy stuff when you get there so if anything bring the travel size stuff at least for that first week don't be like me and buy like 10 different mini size deodorants when i only used like maybe two or three i don't even know how many i use but i still have quite a few left anyway let's see glasses contacts and cases for each oh there's people that brought their contacts and wore those they say don't bring your contacts and you have to wear your bmt issued glasses but from what i have heard and experienced from my dorm and flight 
our MTIs didn't make us wear our glasses. I always wore mine because one, I didn't have my contact stuff. And two, I was just, you were told that you have to wear them. But there were people that wore their contacts and they got away with it. Or I wouldn't even say got away with it. I just, I think it really depends on your MTI. I don't think they really care. Because at the end of the day, that's on you if you get an eye infection. If you're not properly washing your hands and whatnot. Also, let's see. Oh, these are, okay, essential. Ponytails and bobby pins. Luckily, I brought enough ponytails. And also, you can buy more. But yeah, definitely bobby pins, ponytails. I didn't really ever use my bobby pins that often unless I had two braids and had to bring the two ponytails in the back into a bun. Other than that, didn't use my bobby pins. Deodorant, like I said, <laughs> do not do what I did and buy like seven to 10, 12, 15 deodorants. You only need at least two big size ones, which one, the one they issue you and then one that you buy should be plenty for basic. Next up would be, oh, I highly recommend the razor I brought with me. It's the Intuition Pure Nourishment Razor with the shaving cream or whatever you want to call it with the blade. That saved so much time. I... There were females that had razors and shaving cream and that would just, you do not have that much time at all to shave. And when you do, you still don't even have that much time. Cause like, if I were to really shave, like really have the time, it takes like 10 minutes most. Even with the razor I had, I was just going up, water, up, water. So you don't have much time just buy one that has a built-in like soap with the razor it'll save you time money all of that also digital watch any color as long as it's one solid color also i will have it up here somewhere on the screen look at the daffy 2903 handbook because that will tell you all about the dress and appearance and it's something you need to know your whole military career. So if you can look at that and kind of study it ahead of time, you will be successful. You will. Because if I would have read that, if I would have known, I wouldn't have wasted my money on my watch and I would have bought a different watch. Which with that being said, no one said anything about my watch until fifth week. So I was like, okay, I can, you know, deal with it. And I thought it was just during BMT that I couldn't wear my watch, but no, it's actually in the handbook. So I just have it on my water bottle, which you guys are actually standing on. And that's how I keep telling time and or my phone. Extra stuff, because that's all I can really remember for like the essentials that you actually need. Oh, eye sleeping mask. Oh my gosh, there were so many females that said, oh my gosh, I wish I bought would have bought a eye sleeping mask. In BNT, you're gonna have people going in and out of the bathroom. You're gonna have the EC light that's constantly on. You're gonna have the exit lights that are on, depending on where you are. It's, there's gonna be light. And if you're like me, that has to pretty much sleep in pitch black then yeah, get a sleeping mask. Also, be prepared to uh, not get much sleep because again, people are doing EC throughout the night. So if you're a light sleeper like me, you're gonna hear it. You're gonna hear people going to the bathroom, doing who knows what that they are doing other than sleeping when they should be sleeping. Anyway, next up would be any other hygiene items you'd like as long as there's no alcohol in it and it is travel size and in original packaging. I wish I would have known this because like my face wash and stuff, even if I didn't use it in BMT, I could have used it when I got here in tech school, but now I'm having to wait for it and it's going to be a little bit before I can even get it. 
It's not a huge deal, but if you're one of those people that kind of wants it right away, just bring it with you during BMT. Also, with that being said, you can bring your laptop, your iPad, your Nintendo AirPods. And, oh my gosh, I wish I would have known this too. Like, I would have brought, brought my earphones if I would have known <laughs> what was going to happen after basic. So... Bring all that stuff because also if you get stuck in holdover, girl, you have that stuff with you. You can use it. You can get on your laptop. You can get on your Nintendo. You can use your Apple Watch. You can actually listen to music. So do that if you want. You don't have to. Uh, they prefer you not to, but there are people that did bring their laptops, that brought their iPads, all of that jazz. So just because it says it on the handbook or oh don't bring this you can bring it just know that it's not really their responsibility to take care of it so if anything happens to it it's on you let's see you will save a lot of money if you use the issued items and Still to this day, I haven't used some of the stuff. Also, going along with that, there are so many like small purchases that you will have to make in BNT. So if you can save that money by not buying so much stuff for basic, use that money for the little stuff in basic that you will need. You might need batteries for the flashlight. You will probably need baby wipes. You will need the ribbon rack for your ribbon. You will need, I mean, you could get lotion, a full size lotion. I have mine right here. Um, a pet roller for your blue, not even your blues, but getting the lint and dust off your locker and inside your locker, stuff like that, that you wouldn't even have thought about, you're gonna have to purchase. So just think about that when you're spending your money. And I think that is pretty much all I have. Oh, Band-Aids. I never needed them, luckily, but it's always good to have Band-Aids because you can always give the Band-Aids to your wingman if they need Band-Aids. That's what I did. I gave some Band-Aids to some people. That is all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.